I personally got involved myself. I think like every family in Ireland, we've all seen addiction and uh, I, I'm, I'm no different. And uh, we wanted to see if we could do something to make a difference in people's lives. So the notebooks started off with just myself and another girl going around and the soup would fall into the sandwiches and the sandwiches would fall into the sugar and it was a disaster. But over time, um, the homeless started to link into what we were doing. And a lot of the volunteers who now help us out, they actually were homeless themselves. Six, seven years later, they're the ones now giving back. So that makes a huge difference. Different people who might be in addiction, when they come on board, they then see Tony or Joe or Mick, who they would have known from the scene years ago, and they see them sober, they hear they're in college, they hear they're in a job or whatever, and they go, oh my goodness, I might give this residential aspect of Tiglin a shot. Now, I suppose if I was out every night on the bus and I didn't see uh, a turnaround in people's lives, I think I'd get disillusioned. It'd be like a hamster wheel. But when I see guys like Decky, like Paul, like Tom, who are running the bus now, they were in the situation that the guys were in and now they're giving back. So that makes a huge, a huge difference. We come out here every Thursday and I help out. It's a, it's a way of me giving back, let's say, because I used to be homeless myself. I grew up on the streets, I had no education. I ended up in the juvenile system when I was 16. I was selling drugs as a child. And to make a long story short, from there on I ended up being a heroin addict for 28 years. I went to Tiglin and I entered into the programme, it was a 16 month programme. They came up and took me out of Mountjoy Prison. I had so many street behaviours and prison attitudes. It took 22 months for the programme to actually work on me. The No Books Cafe is unique in that there's, there's a lot of volunteers on the bus that have been with us over the years and there's a warm welcome for everybody each week as they come on. Um, if, if we're talking to people and they're saying you don't really know what we're going through then the guys are there, the girls are there and saying actually you know what we've been there, we've been at this stage and we're coming out the other end and here we are today. Or It's also nice if, if people on the, on the streets, um, they recognise some of the people that are coming out to help and say look that's so and so, I remember them when they were like us on the streets and wow it's worked for them so it could work for us and that encourages them to come on. Um, to this day since I went into Tig Lane, uh, I've never had any education. I'm finishing my degree now this year, this is my last year of a degree. I've got married, I've had a new baby, I've got my first home. I've travelled around the world working with guys in addiction. Um, my life has just progressed, completely changed because of the support that I got from Tim Glenn. I'm in business, you don't get that sort of satisfaction in business. But when you do on the No Box uh, Cafe, that makes a difference.